Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be uh, cleaning my throttle body and inlet manifold for my 1KZ TE 120 series Prado diesel. Um, this is not the D4D, this is the 1KZ, the predecessor of the D4D. Um, first thing I did was I ordered some gaskets from Toyota and yes, they're actually cheaper than the uh, uh, eBay versions, uh, so I went with the original. Um, so there's some uh, part numbers there if you want to grab those. So that one's there for the uh, inlet manifold gasket, four of those. Then that's the throttle body gasket. And finally, that's the uh, um, intercooler gasket that comes up from the turbo. Um, part numbers being that. Um, that's that gasket that sits just there. So the first part of this is that I'll be removing the intercooler, um, followed by um, removing the glow plugs, the diesel lines, to be able to get to the inlet manifold, which is this one here. Anyway, I'll come back to you um, as I'm going through the process. Cheers. There's been a bit said uh, recently about what to use um, to clean the inlet manifold and the throttle body. Uh, I thought I'd try a combination of a couple of different techniques. So I'm going to use petrol to soak um, the inlet manifold and the throttle body in, let it soak, and then use a mechanical agitation. So I've got a couple of brushes here that I'm going to use, probably a toothbrush as well, and then I've also got a putty knife that I'm going to use to physically scrape the throttle body with. I've got a bit of a curved edge to sort of follow the roundness. Anyway, uh, some oven cleaner. So I'll see I'll see which method works the best and I'll I'll sort of report back in this post. So I'm starting off by removing the intercooler. So there's those four bolts there come up from the pipe. There's a bolt just here. Um, there's also these uh, plugs which will all be removed and there's also another bolt and there's also another bolt just behind the intercooler just just in there so um, that's what I'll start off with just removing the intercooler just to be able to get to the throttle body it's also this clamp here and this one here so I've removed the intercooler that was pretty straightforward a couple of vacuum hoses on this side some plugs you can see the throttle body there and uh, the pipe that goes from the turbo up to the intercooler. I'll just show you how caked up my throttle body is. It's, uh, it's pretty, I don't know if you can see it there, but it's pretty gunked up. So that's just the throttle body. I haven't even seen the intake manifold yet, so I'm assuming it's going to be just as bad. Anyway, I'll um, get to the next step, which is... Uh, removing the glow plugs, which are those white caps there. That rail that goes across the top. I'm not actually removing the glow plugs, just the rail uh, across the top there, just to give me some access to the diesel lines um, that go into the injectors. And I'm doing that because I need to be able to get them off to be able to get this manifold off. So I'll show you how that looks like in a sec. So I've taken the uh, glow plug rail off. There the glow plug's there. I'm now undoing the diesel lines that go into the injectors. They're the injectors just there. Um, there's four of those. Obviously, it's a four-cylinder. And uh, after that, I'll be doing undoing the pipes that go into the injector pump, which go down here so I can get them away from the manifold as it's uh, in the way for me to remove the manifold. So um, I'll show what that looks like once I've removed them. So I just want to show you a close up of what you need to remove next to get these diesel lines off. So I'm um, not sure if you can see that, but uh, just down there out of the diesel pump, there's uh, four connectors, uh, 14 mil uh, open into the spanner. You just have to undo those to be able to then take off these diesel lines into the injectors. 
Hey guys, I'm just working on my Prado 120 series with the 1KZ uh, TE diesel and uh, I just wanted to show you how to bypass the EGR or shut it off uh, with a simple method. This is not blocking the EGR pipe but actually disabling the vacuum hose that goes to the EGR. Now the EGR valve is this little disc that looks like a, a spaceship and a previous owner has actually just cut the cable um, that goes from the vacuum and he's just put a couple of bolts in there. So um, that was just once a connection all the way through, he's just cut the cable and put um, bolts in there. Now that's pretty obvious. If you're pulled over by the EPA, they'll see that that's done and they can issue you with unroadworthy certificate. Now, um, possibly the better way to do it is just remove this pipe from here, slip in a ball bearing. Um, I think a five mil ball bearing will do the trick or six mil into there and then push it back in and then you can't tell that it's actually been blocked. This is obviously a little bit more obvious. Um, so this is one way. Um, this is blocking the EGR uh, vacuum hose. The other way is to actually do a EGR block, which I'll show you uh, where to do that as I pull the manifold and throttle body apart. Okay guys, so I just wanted to show you, I've uh, been able to undo the manifold. Um, just wanted to show you the state of the manifold. It's uh, pretty caked up in there. Um, you can also see the inlets there. And that's the EGR. That's actually where I'm gonna block the EGR, which is the inside of the manifold. You can see that uh, washer there. Um, that's where I'll be putting my block. Just basically a bit of shim covering the hole. Um, so anyway, those of you that want to block your EGR, this is the two ways. As I said, one way is to block um, the vacuum hose, which is this hose here. This one's been cut by the previous owner. Um, as I said, you can just put a ball bearing in it. The second way is actually uh, putting a plate over that section there, which is uh, just there at the manifold. So that's what I'll be doing. Um, and that's my gunked up inlet that I'll be cleaning. Just wanted to show you a close up of uh, how gunked up those ports are in the inlet manifold. It's before and after, and that's the throttle body. Hi guys, uh, now up to the filthy bit of actually cleaning the inlet manifold. You can see I've gotten quite a way in cleaning it. I'm just soaking it in petrol and um, I'm just using an old brush. Um, you can see a lot of the gunks sort of gone, but there's also quite a lot in there still. So I'm just gonna keep going with, with the brush. Um, this is basically what I've been doing. Just basically scrubbing the inlet manifolds. I've also got a little toothbrush in here. Uh, my wife will have to buy herself a new toothbrush. I haven't told her yet. She'll work it out tomorrow morning. And I'm just trying to get into the nooks and crannies, giving it a bit of a soak, a bit of a clean up. Um, I've also done the throttle body. The throttle body's now clean. Um, you can see that it's quite different to how it was. I'll probably go over it one more time, just get off any sort of residual oil uh, and gunk uh, before I'll put it back in. Um, so really what I'm doing, it's, it's quite, um, quite laborious, quite dirty as you can see, but um, hopefully um, ends up cleaning it up quite well. All right, I'll see you soon. Okay, I've done most of the difficult bits with petrol and a scrubbing brush. Um, I've now got some uh, oven cleaner, just uh, so soaking up the ports, um, just filling them up, and uh, just going to let it soak just to the bits that I can't get my brush in. Um, and then I'm just going to use my high pressure cleaner to uh, blast it inside. So I'll let that soak, I'll fill it up. I've actually got two cans of this. So I'll finish this can, fill it right up. It's actually foaming. It's got some sort of an acid in here, which uh, will eat away the gunk. And uh, I'll just let that soak for a little while and then hit it with a high pressure cleaner. See how it comes up and then have a go at it again. Um, with another bottle if it doesn't come out the first time. Pretty happy with that clean. I've uh, used oven cleaner in my 
journey and it's uh, come up a million bucks. I have to say I'm pretty impressed. So the petrol went halfway there but the oven cleaner really went the rest of the way and it's come up an absolute treat. I've also cleaned the uh, inlet ports on the, uh, on the head. Um, I dare say there's probably a little bit of debris that's gone into the cylinders. Uh, hopefully it's not too bad, but I've done my best to try and clean them without dropping anything in there. Anyway, they've come up nice too. Okay, um, basically got cleaned the manifold. I've got it uh, uh, back together. I've put my blanking plate on the EGR, which is that one there. I've still got this cut. I'll probably put a new hose on that because I won't need that like that anymore as I've got the blanking plate. Uh, or EGR block. Um, as it turns out, I didn't really need to take off the um, the glow plug wire and uh, rail because um, it wasn't in the way. All I really needed to do was just undo the uh, fuel lines for the injectors, which I've uh, now put back together. I also needed to take the oil filter off because it was um, in the way when I was trying to get the manifold back on. Anyway, that's all done now, and uh, uh, I'll um, show you once I've had the throttle body and the intercooler back on. So I've actually got done, all put back together. Each uh, block, manifold clean, throttle body clean. Hope you enjoy the video.